Hello everyone, this is Michael McHale as they call me, and welcome to what I believe to be the second to last episode of Course Party Blood Drive. Without further ado, let me grab my Kayube and begin this episode with Extra Chapter 06, Separation. Oh. I remember, I was leaning against a wall in a small basement room with indirect lighting, and Hinoe was sitting in a chair across the room from me, holding a coffee mug. A beautiful, silver bracelet on her left wrist caught the light, sparkling majestically. お前を襲ったチームの奴らを一人残らず奴たきにする。失踪の楽だせを無さぼり。汚らしく生きようじゃ。覚悟もなく崖を量産する神だのが。くそ。こんな世の中滅べばいいだろう。俺が別にしてや
My headless corpse now lay in the heavenly house of Nirvana. A silver bracelet dimly glinting upon its wrist. You should've just listened to Hinoe. You should've just listened to Hinoe. <laughs> I have no sympathy. Soulful testimony from Jun Osuka has been unlocked. Soulful testimony from Rei Matsuzaki has been unlocked. Alright. Let's just get on to chapter 09 because I have no comments. Have no comments. We got a little bit of an insight into um, Misuto and Hinoe's relationship. And from that, well, can't say I like Misuto any more or less. <laughs> I'm indifferent. Misuto got what everyone knew what would happen if he continued down his path. He probably expected it as well. He got what was basically going, what was coming to him for going down the exact path he went down, so I have no sympathy. Anyways, enough Misuto, he's dead. He's dead to me, he's gone. So, let's just continue on to Blood Drive Chapter 09, Imperator. And let's see if this can start redeeming this game, since the bastard is gone. Oh, alright. this? How has the school completely changed like this? The nerd of- <laughs> What was I going for? The Nirvana's encroachment is growing by the moment. We have no idea what's going to happen next. You all need to be on your guard. If we can track down this Sachi, we should be able to figure out where Yuka is too. Right! Let's hurry up then and find her! We'll save you, Yuka! I swear it! Here we go. There's still traps. Yeah, I gotta keep in mind, there's still traps. Woo, what's this? What's the shiny? There's something on the floor here. Talisman of Tame. That's good. Wait. Okay, Misuro's body's not here. Wait, can we go back? Let's see if we can we go back. Now's not the time to wander around aimlessly. We have to stay focused. Alright, so we have to go to where, uh, Yuka is. Alright, I think I know where Sachi went. I think I remember, so yeah, let's just go through that direction. Alright, but I gotta keep my eyes on for ghosts and traps. Or, you know, quickly save real quick. Alright, um, let's just get rid of your ugly bug. Thank you. We got rid of Misuto once and for all. There are several eyeballs moving around inside the shoe cubbies. They seem to be moving of their own volition. And every one of them is staring directly at you. Ooh, spooky! There are carved of human remains slotted piece by piece into the various shoe cubbies here. Some of the chunks of flesh are still pulsating as if the person is somehow still alive. This section of cubby seems to have been severely affected by the fluctuations in the Nirvana. Blood and other bodily fluids are oozing out of it as if it were a living being. Wow, um, <laughs> English I speak. <laughs> I don't even- I can't even hear what I said. Ooh, okay. Hello, you're gone. What's that? Ooh, there's something shiny here. A name tag grips beside the corpse. Eve Kawaki, middle class 2-4, Megumi Tarai. Ruptured internal organs after falling through hole in fl hall floor. The blue light that hung over the course had disappeared. Interesting. This story has been okay, affected by Nirvana. <laughs> Nirvana. Okay, I think most of the doors are not, uh, you know, not openable. But, but, if we go around, will we find Misuto's body? Will we find it? That is a good question. I want to see Misuto's body. No, wait. Oh my god, how can you not walk through this gap? How can you not walk through this gap, Satoshi? Satoshi! Are you serious? How can you not... I'm not gonna say anything else. No, but how? How could you not walk through that gap, Satoshi? <laughs> Seriously, Satoshi. 
All right, let's go. All right, there's nothing out here. Could we go out this way? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's... Oh, wait, wait, what did it say, actually? I want to see what it said. The space ahead seems to be in a state of flux. Proceeding onward is probably unwise. All right. Let's get on to the next next area. Could we go up the stairs to the nurse's office or no? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, You know, you always have to check every single thing. There's an item here. What's this item? There's something on the floor here. Talisman to take. That's good. That's good. I like getting talisman. Talisman upgrade. It's your fault that I died. Please, give me your body. We're gonna get a ghost sighting incoming, I bet. Oh! I saw that coming. I saw that coming. How... How did I... How did I let myself continue on? Okay, yep. Alright, is there anything up here? Yeah, I know where to go to save Yuka, but I want to make sure I see everything. So yeah, there's... There's a lot of... Ah! T ah, I have a talisman. <laughs> I'm not scared of you. I am not scared at all. Alright, um... This whole- oh! Oh no. I forgot about the tentacle. <laughs> oh god, that made my skin crawl a little bit. I hate those fucking tentacles. They're not fun. They're not fun. Tentacles are supposed to be fun, but the tentacles in this game are not that fun. Did I confess to something? Yes. <laughs> will I elaborate? No. No, I will not. God, there's so much pulsing tentacle spaces. I don't like them. I don't like the tentacles in this game. You see, it depends on the tentacles and whether or not I like them. If they look pleasant, I like them. If they don't look pleasant, they're not fun tentacles. I should shut up. Yeah, I should shut up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, tentacles can be fun. I, I'm not giving- like, they have a bad reputation. The world you know is gone. Ha! <laughs> Take a second guess. We're gonna fucking save it. <laughs> maybe. Now's not the time to wander around aimlessly, we have to stay focused. Oh. Maybe we have to- where do we go? Ah, shit. Um, do we go to here? Maybe? No, it's not time to wander around aimlessly. Oh, it's one of these doors. Yeah, it's one of those doors over here. Alright, which door? I have to figure out the door. Not this one, I already checked that one. Alright. Be extremely- oh, wait, there's no more ghosts, so I think we're good. We're good, right? The door has been eaten away. Uh, there's a lot of flesh. Don't touch the flesh. The door has been- okay, wander around aimlessly. That- Maybe this is the door. Yeah, there we go. I just didn't miss that. Miss Kwan glanced at the watch on her left wrist. The digits displayed on it were counting down. Hmm. Shikano <laughs> あたしがさっき見た風景と同じだよ。黒い服の女の子、サチが白い手でめちゃくちゃに引っかくみたいに板を剥がして、この中へ入っていったの。あとは真っ暗になってイメージはそこで途切れたけど。入ってみるか。シノマ君、篠崎さんが気になる。うん。ああ。ごめんね。心配して来てくれてありがとう。でも、もうここまででいいわ。戻ってあげて。いや。あいつは大丈夫だよ。<laughs> you spoke too soon. Mata Jishinkaya. Nehanga Kakudai, Kosha, Haritsmetir. 
知識のセフィラが起動するのも近いわねあゆみちゃん止められる涅槃の中心にいる意識体はきっと人知の及ばないもの<笑>みんなが思ってるよりもあいつはタフなやつでさ意外と根性あんだよ<笑>だから俺はあいつを信じる Miss <laughs> And they went off. Are you Mitchell? Honga, Honga, n i g h t Oh, wait, Misuno says if we can grab the book or did Magari grab it? Did Magari get the book? Are you Mitchell? But I see no cut and it's come up there. Whoa, okay! <laughs> wow! Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's get the Book of Shadows back from Fuckface. Let's go. <gasps> the core is at the bottom of this clock tower. That's why we couldn't enter it before. That's where the core is. Alright, so we gotta grab the Book of Shadows, then go down to the core. That's what we gotta do. Okay, that seems easy enough. That does seem easy enough, so yeah, that's doable. That is doable. Let's say hi to you. Hey, Yoshikazu, let's say hi to him. It's the body of Yoshikazu Yarigohori. In addition to being crucified, he's also had a stake driven through the back of his head. I mean, I kind of wish they gave an explanation as to why they did that to poor Yoshikazu because, come on, he. Did he do anything wrong? It was his dad who did something wrong, not Yoshikazu. So, Yoshikazu's innocent? question mark? Maybe? Well, he did assist Sachiko in kidnapping children, so maybe he's not as innocent as I'm claiming he is. <laughs> he did help with the kidnappings. Alright, there's nothing over here. Okay, let's grab the book. Then go to, then go to, um, you know, the core. Alright, which area was he at here? I don't know, let's save real quick. Alright. Ooh, I do not like that thumbnail of Sachi. Oh, I do not like, uh, maybe I should just overrode a save file, maybe. Thank you, a i ひとりで歩けるなんだか校舎の様子が変ねどうなってるのかしらえミストどこへ行ったのかしら早く本を取り戻さないと大変なことになるわシノザキアユミんマガリー<笑> Magari, no, Magari, no. I was, I'm, I'm liking you, so don't do anything bad. Are you gonna give the book back? So come on, I do you. Hora, book of shadows. Okay. From the beginning of the game, I'm starting to like you a lot more now. You are. I'm gonna be honest here, I'm really liking Magari. I tried to grab it, 
But Magari pulled it away at the last moment, as if taunting me. Magari? あなたおかげから誘導して手に入れさせてから奪う方法でねだから私の正義はあのミストとあまり変わらないあなたの敵であることに違いはないわその簡単に人を信じる甘い癖はいい加減に捨てなさい ただね。あいつと違って。もうちょっと見たいのよ、私は。このように私を退屈させない存在がまだ生まれてくるかどうか。なほちゃんみたいなね。おお。これはなほさんがいつもつけていた。<笑><笑> Um, okay, um, <laughs> let me, let me pause for a second. <laughs> I thought the book had turned into a random shiny object and she tossed the shiny object. That was the Book of Shadows Ayumi's head. I thought the Book of Shadows turned into that. <laughs> not, not Magari giving um, Ayumi um, Naho's uh, hairpin. Give it to Aiko. Ayumi, you gotta do what you need to do. Give that hairpin to fucking Aiko. Though that might not be the best idea. We don't know. Maybe she could give it to um Aiko for, you know, her to remember uh Aiko. Wait, for Aiko to remember Aiko. No, Naho. Naho. Or it might hurt her even more. I can't. I think we're supposed to give it to Aiko. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Maybe. Well, let's see. Let's see what she wants. Oh, Baretta. Yomuifutsu <laughs> I go snatch the hair clip from my hands. I go closed her eyes and put the item next to her ear, but after a few moments of silence, she just started to break down. <sighs> She hugged the star and began to cry. Aiko-san。あれはレーム。アイコが言ってたでしょ。ナホちゃんみたいな霊能力の強い人の遺留品には魂が込もって話ができる場合があるの。うんで。はい。Ah, oh, there we go. Then she gives the book a shout out to Ayumi. どうせあなたにしか使いこなせないんだから、今は貸しといてあげるわ。もっとも、それがあなたにもたらすのは、効果不効か、わからないけれど。Magari flashed me a cold smile. この本の生まれた歴史は知っているわよね。Okay, Magari. Well, Magari is like one of the most <laughs> One of the most sundere's of helping the main characters in this story. She claims to be a villain, but I don't think she's any villain. I think she's just rejecting the fact that she's actually rooting for Aiko and Ayumi. I think she's just trying to hide the fact. <laughs> or I could be very wrong, but it doesn't seem like Magari is inherently a bad person. <laughs> It's just that she's rejecting that she's not that bad. え、お姉ちゃんが話してくれた。あなたがこれから退治して、その本に封印しなければならないのは、涅槃。すなわち、ブックオブシャドウズの子は、その意志。それは、300年前に起きた集団による迫害殺戮。魔女狩りで惨殺された魔女の魂よ。悪魔とも通じていたと言われる世を呪う力の強さは計り知れない。そんなものとの対峙でしょ。気が狂うだけでは済まないわよ。きっと。けどまあ。<笑> 
、あなたが失敗したら、涅槃が広がって、やっぱりこの世自体が終わることになるし。頑張って。コアをその中に戻せるよう、祈っててあげる。And I'm just gonna go to who know, who know where, who's nowhere. Ah, so, so. No, Kizuite to Mokedo. Kono Kukan was the Ni Tenjin Show Janai. Look of Shadows no Noroiga Gugan Kastamono to Kangaita Homa Iva. Nani ga Okoru Kawakaranai Kara. Kiyotskete. Magari san. Anata ga Tekina no Wakawaranai de Show. Naze Taskete Kuredu no. バカらしくなったのよ。え赤い魔術の模様が、校舎の至るところに書いてあるでしょあれ、うちの教団の人間が入り込んで、黒魔術を行ってるわ。幹部の私の命令も受けず、勝手にね。で、みんな何かにやられて死んでた。ぐっちゃぐちゃになってね。高すぎるでしょ。何がムカつくってさ。私をここの調査に行かせておいて、鉄の調査の連中をよこしてることよ。教祖のババアも焼きが回ったわ。しかも勝手に黒魔術をブーストしてるから、サチもネハンもそれに反応して暴走してる。おかげで、この世の終わりよ。Wow. I mean, that's a decent enough explanation behind what's going on. I actually like that. Anata ya Sayaka, Naho chan to, necha necha yatte ta hou ga, mada tanoshikotta. Mou mikiro to omou no, anna kuso baka no shiudan. Do it. 私はまだいろいろ事後処理があるから、ここでお別れね。涅槃に合う道は、本に聞きなさい。この世界の中心にいるわ。行ってくる。愛子さんはここにいて。岸沼くんたちはいいの待たなくて。いいな。きっとこれは巻き込んじゃダメなことだわ。一緒にいると、みんな優しいからついてきたがっちゃ。愛子さんはみんなと合流して脱出して、私のことはブックオブシャドウズがあるから大丈夫って伝えて。いいえ。私もついていくわ、あゆみちゃん。どうしてこれ以上は危ないわ。今聞いたでしょ。姉が私にした初めてのお願いだもの。できなかったなんて言いたくないし<笑>でも何を言われてもついていくわよ諦めてじゃあメモを残していくわサウスクエック What? No! 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 You are not the thing right here! No! Come on! Really? The Nirvana is not nearby. Will you guide us to it? It must be the main building. Come on! Don't do this! Do not end here! Do not fucking end here! Do not fucking end here! Do not do it! Do not do this! Alright, maybe this is just the theme for this part. What's this? There's something on the floor here. Steel Axe of Tay. That's good. We have a weapon. That's good. Alright, is there anything up here or my. I... Eh, I knew it. Wait, what's the file also? This one, yeah. Yeah, I know, I saves come all the time. <laughs> Alright, we're going to the main building, but I honestly believe it's the, you know, bottom of the clock tower, though. So... 
We can go to the main building for now. Are we not gonna be allowed to go through? Yeah, we're not. All right, we do have to go through the ghost. Maybe. Maybe. There's something on the floor here. Batteries obtained. That's good. Our flashlight might run out. <laughs> that wouldn't be fun, but it might. Okay, I'm gonna test my theory real quick because I honestly don't think it's, you know, as easy as the main building. No, I think it's down here. I think it's down here. Okay, nope. No, that would make sense to ask the core, that area, because we're n we've not been allowed it down there this entire game. So, it would make sense that the core would be down there, the one with all the screaming souls, but no. We have to go against a fucking ghost. Ah, I don't... Fuck off. Just let me buy. Alright, alright. Let's grab the item. There's something on the floor here. Talisman obtained. Alright, come at me, bitch. Come at me. Come at me, bitch. Where are you, bitch? Are you gone? Okay. Um, no, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, there's an item over here, so I knew I had to grab something over here. There's something on the floor here, talisman detained. That's good. Just in case there's another spirit, we can use that talisman. Alright. That's good. Even though I kind of felt like I wasted that one because he wasn't chasing us anymore, but you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, let's... Oh. Tripwire. Alright. I keep on feeling this chapter is about to end, but I'm like, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't end right here. This is a horrible place to, to be ending anything. Alright, is there anything up here? Alright. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Oh wait, that's the principal's office, isn't it? Yeah, that would have been the principal's office. But this is no longer having the host. This is, um, the Nirvana Book of Shadows Soul Flesh thing. Is that anything down there? Because there's usually a ghost down there, so I'm not gonna go too far. Yeah, there's nothing. Alright. Alright, come on. Please let me go by without any incident, because <laughs> that would not be fun. Alright, we can go to the first floor now. I mean, main building. Yeah, main building, not first floor. Alright, here we go. Alright. I'm gonna be honest here, I'm kind of getting into this now. I'm kind of getting into Seiko's ghost? No one was there. But farther back in the hall, I heard the sound of someone running. Oh? Oh? Oh my god! They knew what they were doing! They knew what they were fucking doing! They knew it! They knew what they were fucking doing! Yes! They're having the best girl help us! Or harm us! Don't harm us! Help us! Naomi-san? Shinohara-san! In the hallway nearby, I could hear the sounds of footsteps. Accompanied by a strange snapping noise. Don't. Sandiushina. I felt a tear stream down my cheek, but that was my only answer. 
Don't be a bad spirit. Please don't be a bad spirit. The repeating sound of the footsteps, unchanged from before, somehow seemed like an answer, and for whatever reason, I found it oddly comforting, like she was my guardian angel. I very strongly felt a presence right behind me. I quickly turned heel to catch sight of whoever it may have been, but unsurprisingly, knowing what- <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how that happened. I, I'm adding- I'm adding vowels at the end of every word. Oh my god. I quickly turned heel to catch sight of whoever it may have been, but unsurprisingly, Billing was there. No one was there. Oh my god. I'm adding an E after no. What the hell? Ayumi-chan? Alright. Why is this the theme for this cha chapter? I don't understand. Why is it this? Now I don't know when the chapter is going to begin or end. Infernal Communion! Alright. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't know we can go in here. Um, we're supposed to do something in here. Alright, I know we were supposed to... Wage up? Wage up? Oh my god, we're supposed to wage up. Shinohara-san. Shinohara-san, you're in there, right? Do you want to talk about are we going to communicate with Seiko through a wager board? We're going to communicate through a wager board. Ouija, wager. You know what? Before anything else, before anything else, um, I gotta get some insurance real quick. Yeah, I gotta get some insurance. Uh, <laughs> insurance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I don't know where to put these, but I got some insurance now. Uh, here we go. How is Naomi? I can't not see from here. So Nanda Nakashima Sama Anata no Koto Itsumo Motelio. I am glad. Tell Naomi I am happy and will move on. <laughs> It is a lie, but tell her anyways. The living need to move 
on more same for you Ayumi please take care You fuckers. You fuckers. <laughs> you fuckers. Ayumi-chan. Oh, you fuckers. You fuckers. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm, I'm- I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine, alright? I'm fine, okay? I'm okay. Oh, uh, now- What the fuck? What? Nandesuka? What? There's something on the floor here. Talisman obtained. What? That's new. Wait, do every door lead to a random place? No, okay, this is still 3A. What the fuck? Oh. Are these Martuba's tomb people? Oh, are these people from Martuba's tomb? Let's see, who are you? A name tag rests beside the corpse. Martuba's tomb researcher, Maki Kato. Unknown, large hole found in Adamant. Oh. Was there candy stuffed in there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that. <laughs> I'm sorry I made that joke. <laughs> if anyone got that, please say so down in the comments. <laughs> I hate myself for saying that joke. The door seems to be stuck. It won't open. Okay. Oh, man. You know, I shouldn't be as happy as I am making that joke, but I fucking am. I think I'm funny, okay? I think I'm funny sometimes. Am I allowed to think? Yes, I'm allowed to have dreams. Are we gonna find all the Martubas too, people, or no? Ah! Yeah. Fuck that ghost. <laughs> Fuck the <laughs> I made a sound like one of them would. <laughs> that got me good, I'm gonna be honest here. That really got me good. Maybe? What the? What is happening? What is here? There's something on the floor here. Talisman obtained. What the hell? Ah! Well, we're gonna waste a talisman. <laughs> Can we not waste a talisman? Damn it! For a cheap jump scare like that, I did not want to waste a talisman. There's gonna be another ghost in that door, so I'm not even gonna risk it. But what the hell? What the hell's happening? I mean, this is the Book of Shadows dimension, so nothing making sense does make sense. Yeah, that makes sense. What I said there. Absolutely. Honestly, that got me good, that ghost jump scare. That got me good. Alright. I just hope that we get more talisman because I think I wasted one. Heavenly Post. Breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. Alright, yeah. Alright, read that several times, so I don't want to read it again. It's just a bunch of children dying. Alright, new battery time. Alright. I knew that I was gonna waste- I knew that I was gonna have, um, a battery issue sooner or later, so I'm not surprised. There was nothing in here. Hmm. Alright, um, there's a trip. That means we have to go this direction, right? Yes. There we go. Grab the item right here, there's something on the desk. Batteries obtained, thank you. Thank you very much. The space ahead seems to be in a state of flux. Proceeding onward is probably unwise. 
Alright, so we're gonna go back to the first floor then. Yes. Alright, time to go back through the to the first floor in this weird um Nirvana uh, state that this dimension is in right now. Wow. I'm actually surprised by how weird everything is right now because I like it. You know what? I'm gonna be honest here. I'm liking the weirdness. Like, it's so fucking trippy. The door's been eaten away. Alright. That's nice. Alright, what about you? What? 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 The bathroom? A name tag goes inside the corpse. So Butai Junior High Class 3C, Chiaki Hiyama, face smashed in with hammer. Oh. She probably got caught by one of the red herrings. Red herrings? What were they called again? <laughs> I forgot. I actually forgot. I'll let Mochita and the others take care of Yuka. Alright, let's go to the gym. This door has been eaten away. Alright, I don't know. Ah! Tentacle! That was the most unenthusiastic scream I've ever done. And I'm supposed to be a YouTuber. <laughs> Alright, so where do we go to next? We already went to the bathroom, which was kind of surprising actually. I did not expect to go into the, uh, Makina Shinazaki's bathroom <laughs> and find a, a corpse of some young girl. What? Where are we? It's Makina Shinazaki's room. W what? But we were just in the school! The Nirvana is a melting pot for the thoughts and feelings of many different kinds of people. And when the connections among closed spaces get twisted, these sorts of things do happen. Put simply, you can think of it like a kind of spirit barrier. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I am too, don't worry. Um, Hey, Yumi, I am also losing my mind. <laughs> wow. That's pleasant. Can we look in here? There's a dead bird wrapped in tissue here. I think we read that in the first chapter. Can we see our refunction? Yes. Alright, I just wanted to check. Oh, another dead body. A name tag goes inside the corpse. Hinata High Class 2-5. Daisuke Kobayashi. Stomach splayed open and body stabbed repeatedly by living in the... <laughs> <laughs> by repeatedly by living anatomical model. <laughs> I wonder how you died. There are large quantities of human hair piled into the shelves. The refrigerator doesn't seem to be some the refrigerator doesn't seem to be cleaned in a very long time. As soon as the door is open, the entire room is flooded with a deeply unpleasant odor. The inside of the sink is stained with what looks like crusted on blood and vomit. Nice. The inside of the sink. That's lovely. Can we move on? Yeah, I don't want to see any more of that disgusting stuff. Okay, entrance way. Let's save real quick. Alright. I I don't know exactly if I should be saving like this, but I am. Alright, here we go. What the fuck? There's something drawn on the blackboard. <laughs> it's a picture of three hanged corpses from left to right. They appear to be a king, a soldier, and a commoner. What the fuck? I don't like that. I don't like that. And we found another hatchet. Why are we finding hatchets? There's something on the floor here. Steel axe of Tay. Why? Okay, so we both have a weapon now. That's what I'm getting from this. We both have a weapon. I like it. I like it, actually. I like us both having a weapon. Two beats one. There's a huge hole in the wall. Don't get killed. <laughs> um, okay, that was... Okay, that was fun. That was actually really funny. It is a head. Here we go. We gotta use the axe now. Oh, just break the seal. Is that what? Is that what's keeping the door closed? I'm afraid so. Let's search elsewhere and see if we can find some way to remove it. You know what you must do.
Wait, no. We use the axe. We use the axe. Don't we? Don't we use the axe? The door seems to have been sealed shut. Unlike other doors in the school, it does seem openable. It just won't open. We're supposed to... I think you're supposed to axe it. Like, you take the axe and swing down on it. Also, is that face gonna be there the whole time? <laughs> I guess so. I guess that face is... That, I guess that face is a thing now. <laughs> Alright, um, let's save real quick, and, um, I need a pee. I don't know about you all, but I need a pee. I'm back for my pee. It was a decent pee. Not the best pee, but it was a pee. It was definitely a pee. And we're back to the covered walkway. Interesting. Interesting. Everything is not going the direction I thought it would. I'm actually liking this now. I'm really liking it. Oh. Alright. We're here now. <laughs> oh! That's not fun. There were three corpses in this room, all hanged. The left corpse seemed to have been dead for quite some time, as it had begun rotting. The middle corpse seemed to have just died. And the one on the right was already a skeleton. Beneath the three unfortunate souls, something had been scratched onto the floor. 23, 09, 1405, no, BL, L, O, T. Where's my pencil? Where's my pencil? Alright, okay. 23, 09, 1405, no, some kind of cipher, perhaps. I wrote it down just in case, so I think we're good. Alright, let's say hello to the corpses. There's a skeletal corpse here. The news seems somewhat frayed. With the right tool, the body could probably be dropped to the floor fairly easy. Oh, okay. That's what we use it for. The axe cut through the rope handily, but it was too rusty to do much more. It more or less fell apart as soon as the body dropped. Running it unsuitable for any further task. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do. Alright, um, we're supposed to cut down the bodies. There's a freshly hanged corpse here. The news seems somewhat frayed. With the right tool, the body probably could be dropped to the ground fairly easy. Alright. The axe cut through. Okay, so we need to find one more axe. The sound of a log releasing echoed from somewhere in the distance. But what about you? I kind of want to, I, I want to take you down as well, but guess not. I think we unlocked that door from earlier, but could I cut all three new, I mean, all three bodies down, or only two? Should I check, or should I go straight for um, that door? I'm gonna go straight. I'm gonna not go straight for the door. I'm gonna see if I can find another axe. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, uh, witch! Yeah, okay. The priest now makes sense. It's the witch. It's the witch burnings. Two voices. One was an angry, judgmental male voice, while the other was female. Unfortunately. The only entrance into the room were all shields shut. The doors were affixed to the wall, like models. They showed no indication that they were ever meant to be open. Oh. That's not good. I say it's a trap. It's a trap. Hey, Yumi, don't go saving a ghost. They're dead. They're already dead. There's a piss bucket. There's some kind of vicious chunky liquid in this bucket that looks to be equal parts blood and vomit. Fuck the erasure of the piss bucket. Fuck the erasure of the piss bucket. <laughs> the door is affixed to the wall. Alright, now let's go to um, the door that just got unlocked. The door with the, um, the talisman on it? Yeah, I think that was just unlocked. Alright, let's head over there. Oh, I forgot this whole place is all messed up. Alright. How do I get there again? Uh, I think it was Makino Shinazaki's apartment, so we gotta go down. Yeah, we gotta go down. Alright, here we go. We go down. 
through the door. Um, through the door. Down here. To the right. Alright, save real quick. And think to the right again? Yes, to the right again. We're now here. Now it's at the very top of this classroom. It is a hand. Alright. Is it open now? Oh! Hi! That's interesting. Um, who are you? Wait, is this- <laughs> Is that Satoshi? No, that's not Satoshi. Who are you? Wait, who are you? A name tag rests beside the corpse. Martuba's tomb researcher, Hosamu Hizano. Unknown. Everything from the abdomen down is missing. Hmm. What about you? A name tag rests beside the corpse. Hinagawa Girls Class 3-3, Maiko Kis Kizaragi. Blood out from stab wound in the abdominal region. Everyone is getting admin injuries. A name tag rests beside the corpse. Iwagawa University High Class 1C, Mia Tohara. Injured septic shock. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty. Wait, why? No, that's not tasty. I don't think that's fun. Septic shock? No, that's not fun. We're about to enter the red room. I don't know if I like entering the red room. Before anything, let's check out the bodies. A name tag inside the corpse. Takimori Trade School Class 3A. Joy Chiro Saito. Succumb to shock and blood out quickly following complete bisection. Nice. Where's legs? Well, it's a bisection, so <laughs> the legs are probably somewhere else. Hinata High Class 2 7. Taku Asanome. Blood out from removal of eyes via knife. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's that. That's not <laughs> pleasant to look at. Um, are they all going to start singing or something? Beyond the red door, we found ourselves in a large, open space. The smell of blood and antiseptic immediately stuck our noses with an incredible force. So thick it almost felt like we were stepping into a vicious liquid environment. And it certainly wasn't the underground bomb shelter we were expecting. Rather, it was more or less a torture chamber. A labyrinth of terrifying pain devices in prison cells. The walls were spotted liberally with dark blood stains, and the general feel of the room was absolutely horrific in every conceivable way. I wonder how it was like in the recording studio. <laughs> I really want to know. I wonder how it was like in the recording studio. <laughs> these voice actresses came in, like how they thought when they came in that day and they were told, make pain screams and make it sound like you're being tortured to death. Go. <laughs> no, I, I, I wouldn't know how he felt that day. <laughs> that voice actor, they just told him, make a creepy laugh. <laughs> I 
bet they didn't even, like, you know, began the recording and he already started sounding like that. <laughs> Hold on, I know that laugh. I know that laugh. <laughs> Sounds are deep, all-encompassing sorrow and rage echoed from every corner of the mass of space. Some of the screams and moans of sadistic pleasure seemed to be coming from right next to us, though the room was quite dark and there were no visible presences around us. Um, visible presences. <laughs> There's a bunch of fucking heads. It really did sound like people were being tortured right where we stood, though. Just crossing the threshold into the room was mentally taxing beyond anything I've ever experienced before. It was downright painful. In fact, instantly bringing tears to my eyes. Yuka-chan, <laughs> おそらく中世の拷問器具だ。こんなところにゆかがいるのか。くそ。ゆか。ゆかちゃん。Oh. Was that her cell being opened? We're going to find her dead, I bet. From the darkness came the sound of a metal wheel. Or gear turning. <laughs> Satoshi sh Satoshi shone his light in the general direction from which the sound seemed to originate. But the only thing there was was a rack, as in the torture device designed to stretch and tear a person's body. It was highly disturbing sight, but fortunately, no one was tied to it. Damn it! We all let out a collective sigh of relief. But we're gonna hear it. Despite being empty, however, the torture implement began spinning in place. Ugh. Oh wait, are they being stretched? Blood was flying everywhere. Wait, okay, Satoshi, you look way too happy to be covered in blood right now. <laughs> Why are you smiling? Alright, oh. I don't like um the overhead overhead um direction we're going right here. I don't like the overhead view. I don't like that. Hi. A name tag rests beside the corpse. Martuba's tomb researcher, Sayuka Hoshikawa. Tortured and decapitated. Nice. A name tag rests by the corpse. Martuba's tomb researcher, Akiko Kaga. Tortured and decapitated. A name tag rests beside the corpse. Martuba's tomb soldier, Yoshitaka Osuki. Tortured and decapitated. Alright, what's inside the cell? I don't think we can do anything with the cell. Alright, is there anything here? No. Uh, there is something. The gate is affixed to the surroundings like a model. It shows no indication that it was ever meant to be opened. Alright. Now let's get the flashlight out because there's traps from here. Ooh, I do not- Oh. Are you serious? Alright, I gotta time that. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this. Alright. I do wanna- Check out. Okay. <gasps> Wait, is that was that was that the guy's legs? Was this the guy's legs from earlier? Oh my god, this was the guy's legs from earlier. The guy who was bisected, that's his legs. A name tag rests at the course. The Royal International High Faculty. Hitotake Torio. Disemboweled by someone. Vague. My favorite. What would happen if we did get impaled by that? I don't wanna just, I don't wanna know, but that does sound like an interesting proposition. Uh, yeah, the big axes. Not a fan of that. Oh god, why is there- why? 
Alright. Oh god, I hate that. Ah! Alright. Made it. There's something on the floor here. Dark Crystal Tame. Alright, there's a skull here. Oh! Oh, I was hit by- I was hit by even- I didn't realize! I didn't realize! I didn't realize. <laughs> I forgot that it could swing that. It swing- I didn't know- I forgot that it swung like that. Oh my god, I forgot that was even there. God damn it. Wait, do I- do I have the crystal, actually? No. I had to re- -get, I had to get the crystal again. Damn it. <laughs> uh, okay. Swing. Ah! Alright. Alright, here we go. Ah! Oh! Man. Okay. Okay, this is gonna take some time. This is gonna take some big brain time. I hate it, by the way. I hate those, but... It's an understandable challenge. A new challenge, but it seems not that hard. Maybe. Alright. Here's something on the floor here. Darkness all tamed. There's a body here. Alright. I don't think I can get the name tag from that body. I'm not even gonna risk it. Alright, I'm not even gonna fucking risk that. Alright, what's in here? Um... Okay! Oh, that was the room Bisuto was chilling in! Oh, I get it. There's something on the table. Light crystal tape. Wait, do we need these? Yeah, I guess so. We got the light and dark crystal. Alright, because why not? Because why not? Why not get those crystals? I don't like that, um, fog. This is a really, really maze-like area. With a lot of torture parts. Alright. Is there anything down here? No. I'm getting goosebumps right now. I don't like where this might be going. Okay, there's nothing here. Alright. Should I avoid the fog? I don't know. I think I should avoid the fog, though. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. The fog transports you to random areas. I get it. I guess I get it. Yeah. So don't go into the fog, because the fog tells you you can't go in that area. Okay, that's that's okay. Oh, there's an item in there. Can I get in here? I don't... I don't like um, what's in here, but I'm gonna grab the item, okay? I'm gonna grab this item. There's something on the floor here. Talisman obtained. And I'm gonna, um... Leave. Maybe close the door? Can I close the cell door? No. Why are we leaving that open? I don't like that we're leaving that open! Hi. Um, okay, don't walk into those! <laughs> Alright, there's an item here. There's something on the floor here. Denki obtained! Alright, um... What is the din? Huh. Alright, I don't know where this din is. Okay. Hmm. Is it somewhere over here? No, this was the random question mark room where Misuto was. I'm gonna save since I got the den key. Alright. Where? Uh, what was that? I saw a red flame behind me. Oh, wait, was it? Oh, that's why I saw that behind me. Okay, that was the fire from the, um, light. Okay. So, den. Where is this den they speak of? Hmm. Uh, let's go through this shadow. Alright, we're back to here. Alright, maybe the den's over here. Oh! <laughs> okay, I okay, I ran right into that one, actually. Okay, I, I will admit that was, that was all me. That was all me. <laughs> that was my stupidity right there. That was all- that was all my stupidity. Alright. Alright, that got through. Okay! Nope! That was a- Why? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing that? 
Okay, where where is this den? I'm trying to figure out where this den is. It's not in that area, right? Yeah, it's not in the area we were just in, if I'm correct. Let me check real quick. I don't think it's over here, so it has to be past those blades. We just have to get around them, somehow. Yeah, it's not over here. What's this? Or we can go over here, I guess. Wait, where's Yoshiki? Where's Yoshiki? Um, where's Yoshiki? Yoshiki! I I enjoy the screaming of ghosts, but maybe not as much of them because I'm trying to hear what the characters are saying. どこに行ったの。こんなところで get put in one of the torture implements? Yosuke! Um, どこに行ったんだ? Kuan's gone. Are they? Are they all? Are they all disappearing one by one? We listened for a response, but heard absolutely nothing. Save for a heavy, pulsating sound that echoed through our heads like ringing after a loud concert. Nomi, you okay? Um. And then, suddenly... Did we just get a bad end? No. That's bad. Yoshiki! Yoshiki, where Is this a trick or is this actually happening? あつか。反響してよくわかんない。俺には力聞こえた。行こう。ナオミ、手を離すなよ。よしけ。キシノは screams of pain. Sport actually punch weight in the silence. No, he's dead. No, 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 no. An uneasy feeling ran through me, manifesting itself as a shudder. Satoshi and I cautiously entered the cell, though we both remained close to the threshold. From there, he shone his light inside. It was a tiny cell with red runic letters written all over the wall, and standing all the way in the back, was Miss Kwan. With wide, frightful eyes, she was staring directly at us. <laughs> Satoshi lost his footing, nearly toppling over. The floor was extremely slippery. <laughs> it took me a second, but I soon realized what he was reacting to. Miss Kwan wasn't watching us. She wasn't seeing anything anymore. Her body wasn't standing under its own weight. 
but rather impaled in place with four wooden spears, she was gone. The substance Satoshi had slipped on was the blood pooling on the ground from her now lifeless body. I turned around to see Yoshiki, dead as well, his throat sliced and his tongue ripped out. Is this a bad end? Is this a bad end? I don't understand. What's happening? Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> I looked down. I was still holding Satoshi's hand, but that's all that remained of him. The rest of his body was gone. <laughs> Does that bring back any memories? <laughs> Could you at least show what's going on? Or, okay, I can't even tell if this is a bad end or not. I think this is a bad end from how poorly written this part is right now. I dropped Satoshi's hand and ran out of the cell in a panic. Without his flashlight, the only thing I could see was a distant light. <laughs> my voice was trembling, my feet unstable, my mind a blank. All I could do was run. That was the only thing left for me. The source of the light was a solitary bulb in another small cell. And bad end time. Oh god, that's not good. Uh, yep. Immediately upon entering, however, I found myself caught in a bear trap. It closed on my ankle, which triggered a cord that pulled me into the air, hanging me upside down from my now critically injured leg. The feeling was excruciating as my entire body weight was pulling the steel blades deeper and deeper into my ankle. I kept moaning and screaming as I swung there, hoping to capture someone's attention, but no one came, and there seemed to be no easy way to free myself. I needed to conserve my energy to save my screens for when I knew they'd be heard. Or at least, that's what the little part of my mind that was still functioning kept telling me, though all the entire anguish and searing trauma. <laughs> was the black mist some sort, some sort of paranoia mist that makes them think that's what's going on, or is this a bad end? I think that mist is messing with us. That mist we walked into, I think it's messing with us. But no one was coming, that much was certain. I had to do something to escape from this agony. <laughs> Though I went against every instinct in my body, I bit my lip and forcefully contorted myself in a last attempt to reach my ankle. Unfortunately, my hand just wouldn't reach. Could we see what she was trying to do? And on top of that, I could hear and very much feel cracking as my ankle under the force of the steel jaw bent as my ankle bent sorry as my ankle bent under the force of the steel jaws <laughs> i lost the willpower to maintain such a painful posture my body fell back into an upside down vertical position and the force of the sudden fall caused me to start swinging more <laughs> the steel blades were merciless tears were flowing from my Tears with flow. You know? Eh. Am I mad that I got a bad ending slightly because I don't even know what I did to cause this? I actually don't know. Was it walking into the black mist? Tears were flowing from my eyes, drool from my mouth, and blood from my ankle. My head was going blank under the, under the intense pain. And the worst part was, there was absolutely nothing I could do. I was completely and utterly helpless. Uh, what? <laughs> As I screamed, I saw people who looked like medieval villagers surround me. 
Um, what? They were looking straight ahead, as though they were inintentionally averting their eyes from my suffering. The expressions on their faces were somehow very off. <coughs> what was I see? What what I was seeing was like an otherworldly vision. It was neither heavenly host nor the world I knew. I had absolutely no idea where I was anymore, nor what was happening to me. In the next moment, a violent crashing sound echoed through my brain. My field of vision began to shake and turn upside down as I lapsed into unconsciousness. I couldn't make out exactly what it was, but something like a crowbar came at me with tremendous force. Every bone in my body vibrated, and I could feel some of them grinding together under the sudden impact. It was not pleasant. The vibration only lasted a moment, however, but the ground was now approaching, and fast. With a thud, my vision spun. I could see the feet of the villagers surrounding me on all sides, along with my own lifeless, limp arm draped across the ground. This was immediately followed by blood pouring down before my eyes like a waterfall, and then nothing. What did I do? Was it walking through the black mist? Was it actually walking through the black mist? That's so stupid! Well, I got the bad ending. Honestly, every bad ending of Course Party ever since the first game just didn't seem- doesn't seem good anymore. I'm gonna be honest here, I hate the bad endings because they're just not well written in my opinion. Alright. Alright. I think this is the direction we need to go? I have no clue. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's something right here I missed. There's something on the floor here. Batters obtained. That's good. Um, where am I supposed to go? Okay, we have a key. Yeah, we have the den key. Okay, opens the door to the small room off the underground torture hall. Okay, where's the small room? I don't think I ever found- I don't think I found a locked door. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not gonna save in the question mark room. I'm gonna save right here, just in case. Alright. Um, oh, the small room to the right. So, over here? We have to keep moving forward. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Where's this door? Where's this door? I'm gonna have to open- Oh, wait, this door, right? This door? Ah, use that key! There we go. There we go. Alright, um, I don't know where we are now, but I'm not liking it. Uh, what? Oh. Oh, we put the crystals. There's a slot in the pedestal that looks custom sculpted for a very specific object. Light crystal. It almost fits, but not quite. Maybe I have something on me that would fit a little better. The dark crystal. <laughs> Alright. Dark crystal. Place dark crystal. Alright, now it's time for the light crystal. Place light crystal. What did that do? Wait, what does that- Um, did that do anything? There's already a crystal here. Um, is that supposed to do something? Oh, I think it gets rid of the fog in the other room. Yeah, okay, I think it gets rid of the fog. So that we won't get a bad end. Maybe? Maybe. The only way to find out is by checking. Ah! Oh, okay. I hate these blades. I hate these blades. Ooh, that was close. Ah! Alright, time to go to the question mark room. <laughs> yeah, I think that got rid of the fog. Okay, that got rid of the fog. That's good. Alright. Alright, there we go. So, since we have no more fog, I think we're good to continue on. Yes, we have no more fog, so no bad endings. Tachi! Ow. Ow. It felt like she entered my ear. Dosa. 
。真後ろに何か嫌がった。なんだって。Satoshi flashed his light in the direction Kishima had indicated, but there was simply nothing there. おい、あの扉。開いたな。Each one of us was wracked with apprehension. 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 Yeah, apprehension. Each one of us was wracked with apprehension. We slowly approached the room. Nami, その後、サチの視界は見えないか。うん、何も。わかった。ここでは何が起こってもおかしくない。俺の後ろに隠れてろ。うん、サトシ、気をつけて。あ、なんだろう。ヨシキたちは外を見張っててくれ。おいおい、お前一人で行く機会を。みんなで行って危険な目に遭うよりはマシだろ。それはそうだけど。なら俺が。いや、俺が先に行って様子を見てくる。な、ああ。サトシ君、何かあったらすぐに戻ってくるんだよ。はい。じゃあ、行きます。You can better not be fucking bad. ここも匂いがすごいな。鎖とか。なんだか牢屋みたいな場所だな。There she is! サトシ君ゆ、ゆうか There's something up! There's something up with this! ゆうか俺だしっかりしろおいどうしたどうしたんだ怖い目にあったのか返事をしろ、ゆうか It was almost as if she'd forgotten how to speak. Something was clearly very wrong. ゆうか。さち possessed her. ゆうかちゃんとにかく外へ連れ出そう、さとしくん。はい。ゆうか、さ、俺の背中に。Satoshi crouched down so Yuka could ride him piggyback, but she simply wouldn't budge. Satoshi, shagandro. So, will you? Yuka, shikari shiro. I know it's something to do with Sachi possessing Yuka is going on here because there's no way Yuka would be just this silent when Satoshi comes in here. <laughs> oh god, okay. That's. Oh, wait, can we switch characters? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so silly looking. <laughs> oh my god. He's holding her with one arm? With one arm, he's holding Yuka. Satoshi's one strong motherfucker. Oh, gosh, I'm going to hide the key. 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 動いてるわいけないこのままだと閉じ込められるわみんな逃げておいおいおいおいなんだよそれ行くぞ Oh 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 what what Okay, you can't throw that curveball at me all of a sudden and don't send me back to the fucking beginning. Just restart me where I was! Alright, so let's not be Satoshi. Alright, here we go. 
Uh, what? Oh, oh, we keep on getting trapped on shit. What the fuck? Oh, wait, are we supposed to turn back? Are we supposed to turn back? All right, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that, actually. Can I? Nope, nope. Let's go. What? How? how? Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, so if you get trapped once, you're fucked? I, okay, could you just give me a little bit more time to recognize where to run? Because this is just blindly running in my vision. I don't know what I can run into and what I cannot. All right, all right. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. This is stupid. I hate this. I actually hate this part. Because I can't tell what I can run and not run into and what I can. All right, all right, get through, get through. All right, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, no, I should not hate it just yet. It's not that hard. It's not that hard, though. If you do one wrong step, you're fucked. Alright, alright, alright. We're good. We're doing good. Oh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't that bad. Wow. That was easy. So it's super easy to get trapped. That's actually relatively easy once you get through it. Oh no, we're doing the second part. I'm holding down the buttons just in case. There we go. And where? Oh, in there. Oh. Just crawl through that little hole right there. Masaka, this wave of A tremendous wave of anxiety washed over all four of us. We were trying to figure out what to do next. As we were trying to figure out what to do next, I found myself tripping over a sharp stone by my foot. It was in the shape of an arrowhead. Hmm. Satoshi, Yoshi saw it. よくはなかんだろ。でも、あそこから出るしかなさそうだな。で、でもどうやってあんな高いところに背伸びしても届かないよ。あお。<笑><笑> Satoshi was scared stiff by the sudden voice right by his ear. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, Sachi possessed Yuka. He flashed his light, but there was no one to be seen. <laughs> Yuka, Yuka, Yuka is possessed by Sachi. なんか見えてきた。何これ本当か何が見える背中。うん。いや、ね、ちゃか。サトシの背中。いや、ねえ。ゆかさん、あいつは完全に白。<笑><笑> as she latched all of her weight onto Satoshi. Her face was no longer her own, but that of Sachi. Satoshi! Yuka-chan ga! What the fuck? Satoshi! Oh, Did you get out? 
Oh. The black-eyed Yuka began to speak while clinging to clinging uncomfortably onto Satoshi's back. Banishing ふたごとして生まれるはずが片方の子が死んでしまってもう片方の子に臓器が吸収されることがある。I <笑> I mean, I did that and my twin brother, well, you're tasty. I mean, at the teeth stayed in, that might have caused some complications for Sachiko. So Sachi, they kind of had to do that to save your sister. So, yeah, no. First off, you pissed. And then second off, that line? <laughs> Hopefully that's not reversed in the playback. <laughs> While the possessed Yuka was speaking all this from his back, Satoshi carefully and discreetly post -mis poked Miss Kawan in the side to get her attention. In Satoshi's outstretched hand were two baby teeth. They were the teeth he'd taken from the class rap earlier. He didn't speak these words with his mouth, but rather with his eyes. Unfortunately for him, Sachi seemed to have caught on. I don't think a lot of people have had that sort of first time. <laughs> or should. Uh, or, no, actually, yeah, don't have that first time, anyone. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't do that. Oh shit. With that, she began strangling Satoshi. And just like that, she stopped, or rather, the spiritual aspect of her vanished from our sight.
Oh, she wants to kill Satoshi. I feel bad for that voice actress. Ah, uh, Yuka is trying to get control back. Yuka's fighting um, Sachi internally. This is so quiet. <laughs> that didn't mean for you to go three octaves higher! Clutch my left eye and collapse to the ground. <coughs> Did we just stab our eye out? This was accompanied by a sudden bloody splash from Sachi's left eye as well. Accident by her all black eyeball falling from its socket to the ground. Tasty. <laughs> Satoshi's throat rang and rattled as he quickly inhaled as much air as his lungs could take. <coughs> did, did you just stab your left eye out? My body twitched, and I continued holding my eye with one hand. The other hand, then, bore the arrowhead I used, now coated in blood and viscera. Um, not yet, not yet, not yet. Break the teeth! Break the teeth! Break the teeth! Break the teeth! You gotta break the teeth right now! She held her own neck in her hands as her body writhed and convulsed. Her eyes had rolled back into her head, giving her an almost supernatural, or possibly subhuman, appearance. Yuka! Dame! Kishinemaku! Yuka chan no karada o osaete! Wakata! Kishinema immediately pinned her arms, doing his best to keep her still. Miss Kawan then stuffed a hand towel in her mouth. Ooh, she is ready for the attack! She is ready for the attack! <gasps> Suddenly, Sachi appeared next to Miss Kwan and grabbed the Ever After Stones before anyone knew what was happening. No, she's gonna break them. You go, it's okay. It's okay. I like how Satoshi's just like...
Yuka closed her eyes and fell dead silent. Sachi was gone as well, and a stillness descended upon the entire room. Miss <laughs> Kwan opened my eyelid and stared intently at my injured eye. This was not a comfortable thing for her to do. <笑>ワッドファーク。見ろ。出口が降りてきてるぞ。ナオミ。ちょっと無茶しやがって。ゆうか、俺が背負ってくれ。サトシ。お前は中島に肩貸してやれ。ナオミ。辛いだろうけど
That's good. Okay. An hour is a, a little less than an hour. We can save the world in that, in that amount of time. Imperador to be continued. And that was Course Party Blood Drive Chapter 09 Imperator. EVP entries for Sachi Sunazaki have been unlocked. EVP entries for Seiko Shinohara have been unlocked. EVP entries for Yuka Mochida have been unlocked. Soulful testimony from Satomi Arai has been unlocked. New Encyclopedia of Scare entries have been unlocked. Sachi Sunazaki, Makina Shinazaki, Kawan Niwa. Vanishing Twin. Yes. And with that, let's read the Encyclopedia Obscura. Alright, uh, we have to get to the new ones. Alright, um... Sachi Sunazaki. Sachiko's vanishing twin who died in Yoshie's womb. Her body was absorbed by Sachiko, but two of her teeth remained and had to be surgically removed. Alright. Makina Shinazaki. Yoshie's aunt tries to stop Yoshie from creating the Nirvana, but had gotten along well with her t until then. Holds on to Sachi's teeth after they're extracted from Sachiko. Makina Shinazaki. Uh. What else? Oh, Kuan Niwa. Yeah, Kuan Niwa and. Disappearing Twin. Kuan Niwa, president of PL Promotions C Corporation Incorporated. I don't know. Well, Company Incorporated? Yeah. And Aiko's older sister, Moonlights as a teacher, which has always been a dream of hers, takes up the mantle of Class 29's teacher assistant in this alternative reality where Miss Yui doesn't exist. A gifted prodigy in virtually all subjects, she has a bit of an inflated ego, but cares for her sister above all else. Kwan Niwa. And Vanishing Twin. The intratuan death of one fetus among twins. In Sachi's case, Sachiko's spiritual energy was so massive that it consumed her older sister. But Sachi bit back, so to speak, leaving two baby teeth embedded in Sachiko's body. Alright. Wait, did I unlock everything? I think I unlocked everything. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I think I got everything. I think this is all the Encyclopedia Obscura articles. Nice! Nope, there's still one more. There's still one more, uh, is there two? No, just one more. I just have one more remaining, and with that, that is the end of this second to last episode of Quartz Party Blood Drive. If you all like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, Miss Kuan. I don't know why you put Sachi's teeth inside of you, but I guess it worked in the end. I would be very concerned if you ever tried having a child now, because, well, that child might come out to be Sachi. <laughs> but anyways, thank you all for watching this video! Leave a like, leave a comment, and next time... I shall, once and for all, complete this game of Corpse Party Blood Drive next time. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time. I'll see you all next time. Okay. Okay, okay.